Yo, that is what up, welcome back to Judy's Ed. And as soon as I go live, it doesn't want to work anymore. So just give me a second. <laughs> it's weird. I don't know. No, it, it's not going to work. I'll have to restart Streamlabs. Just one second. I'll fix it. All right. So now it's working and uh, it should be all good. I'm pretty sure you can hear me. Just making sure to check yes it's all good and then lastly we can just begin so welcome thank you very much for joining uh welcome to judy's ed um uh, lighting is not the greatest at the moment i've uh switched the way my whole setup is uh set up so it's gonna be a bit weird uh and i'm gonna try to not move this mic too much because uh i tend to move the camera but oh well i moved it myself anyway okay so i think it's fine now either way i'm gonna fix the lighting situation uh soon uh, i could do something right now actually but uh we'll see anyway uh thank you very much for joining let's go ahead and uh, begin it's gonna be kind of weird to get used to this uh new setup but uh we'll be able to do it soon so let's go ahead and begin now we don't really have much we need to do uh i've done all of the setup already uh for you know uh, the shadowland list and everything there's not really much else that uh, has changed the only thing that changed is i actually got red omega as i believe uh, a lot of you guys did as well unless you don't really care or you don't have the tickets but even in those cases i would think it's better to just get the character just so that it you know they're there and you can actually use them later when you get tickets so but yeah red omega is here i don't really think we're gonna ever use him until he actually gets any sort of like tier three or transcendence or whatever but yeah he's gotten nothing so he gets to just stay there um anyway we're good to go let's go ahead and start shadow end i hope you guys are doing great uh great not wait i don't know what i was trying to say there but welcome and uh yeah say hi i'll say uh, let's just get this uh going i don't think anything changed on the way that we clear it so should we actually try this backwards i always said that i wanted to do that how about we try this backwards and uh use tier fours first and then level 80s and then tier 3s and then transcended characters i think it would be kind of fun so let's just give that a try anyway so um in that case hmm, hmm, hmm. i'm kind of gonna use the same characters i've always used kind of as i said so let's go ahead and start oh my god this is gonna be funny because uh um most of the first clears are gonna be insanely wasted so this is gonna be kind of fun I really wanted to try this, so let's give it a try. Okay, let's go. Tier 3, or oh, sorry, Tier 4 uh, Iron Man will start this whole thing. Looking good today. Hey, thank you, man. Uh, cheers. Welcome. I uh, changed the setup a little bit, so it's kind of weird for me, but uh, we'll figure it out. And the lighting is not the greatest at the moment, but I'll fix that too. Because of the lighting, the actual colors also don't look as great as they did. I mean, again, it's doing extremely well, you know, thinking about how bad the lighting is. Uh, if I had a, one of the previous cameras, or well, there was only one previous camera. But if I, if I had the previous camera, it would have been just crap, bro. Anyway, what we're doing right now is kind of dumb. I don't know how this will go, but I'm going with like the best characters I can from the get-go so i'm doing what i uh, mentioned i would do last time where i will start with like the strongest characters i will just go f backwards essentially that uh, the reason why i did that is because uh or the reason why i thought uh it would be kind of funny to do that is because first of all it's kind of funny and second of all uh it definitely will just show how easy shadowland is at least for people like me who pretty much have a lot of characters a lot of strong characters as well uh but not just for that because uh but because of the fact that i don't need to keep counting at the end uh so it's kind of weird man i don't know i wanted to try it so female characters let's see here let's go with i don't know uh 
sure storm i guess <laughs> took me a while but i decided on her uh but yeah how's it going andy have you been able to do 256 oh sorry 235 or not yet i don't remember what you were focusing on and that's why uh, it it was affecting your clears i don't remember i think you were wasting a lot of gold somewhere or a lot of crystals something on something i don't remember exactly but this this will i'll try it again to do 235 hope i have time oh i think it was gold you don't have enough gold right mm, formidable team let's go with thor i guess and this is funny i mean this is a the easy version of this floor but yeah this floor was kind of annoying when you would use thor on it because thor would end up not being able to do it i should actually disconnect the controller why do we even need it i connected it it's on battery and i'm like uh, wait a second why am i wasting battery when i'm just n not even using the controller so that's what i'll do i'll put it on charge for now and we might need it a little bit later when we actually do um world boss so after the reset i will just do world boss really quick maybe a gpr uh but especially well i i probably will skip gpr because uh i need to not take too long with the stream either as always of course i'm always busy it seems like but yeah um I th actually with the current update i think the infinite reroll no longer needed why why is that not a lot of floors that are good that you can get or what um, so as I was saying, oh, although we lost Agent Venom Destroyer Rocket Floor 12, but in general there are less floors, so easier to roll for Cap Iron Man Spidey number one. Oh, okay, that's really interesting then. Good, uh, give it a try and let me know, man. I'm really curious. Let's go on this one and use Gene. <laughs> this is so weird, bro. I'm doing this backwards. It's gonna be funny. Oh, also chat, by the way. You have chat now. I forgot that I enabled that. So... Say hello, I guess. I don't know if it can be done or how I can do it so that the chat can also stay when I'm going on pause or uh, starting soon and stuff like that. I can probably add it, but the thing is, I'm not sure if it will continue from it where it's at. Usually, it will it will clear the chat and start over. So it's kind of annoying, but oh well. Anyway, how's uh, how's uh, clearing Shadowland for you? How's this way of clearing Shadowland, I guess? But, uh, I tested last week trying my best uh, till 170 plus. No much real, real needed. I still enough, have enough heroes to do uh, 235. So, uh, what what ended up happening then? Did you just actually waste all your characters because you didn't have, not, uh, didn't have enough time or what? Um, let's see. This one is going to be heroes. Uh, heroes, heroes, heroes. I wish we just had to actually manually select which characters we wanted to use instead of actually going with like the last week uh, record. I slept and wake up with only one hour left. Oh god. Why? Why is it always happening to you, huh? She's a hero with this uniform, right? So let's just use her. This is much, much f fun. Much more fun than usual, because I don't really need to think, I guess. Or I won't really need to think soon. Uh, as much as I normally do, where I'm like, oh wait, let me count the floors again. Let me see how many we have left, blah, blah, blah. And uh, it's great, because I don't have to worry about saving uh, characters and not doing uh, entry mode. Because, oh no, I'm going to waste some tier 4s. This way I actually get to use tier 4s as well. Okay, so we're going on this one. It requires a female, so let's just go with Black Widow and start it. I don't play Shadowland on most dates. No time, like I might play some later. I see. Okay. Work, I guess. Is it because of walk? I actually don't know why I changed my whole setup. I mean, I, I was hoping for something good because of like the huge tv i have and sometimes i want to use it you know while i play sometimes i want to position it in a way that i uh you know me and my fiance can actually watch um series or stuff but uh yeah that pretty much backfired it doesn't it doesn't work the way i expected it 
Oopsie doopsie. That kind of sucks, to be honest. Um, like, my whole setup is backwards, essentially. Oh god, I will need some time to get in using with this thing. And it also, like, I had... I think I had more space to put stuff on. No, it's quite quite a mess. Quite a mess. It's a small room, sadly. And uh, my stuff takes up a lot of space. It does. There is like a 55 inch TV. There is like uh, three different guitar. Well, sorry, two guitars, a bass, uh, lots of uh, desks for the all the monitors, the PC, the work computer, the huge TV again uh, obviously it's huge so I have to mention it twice probably uh, the um, wheel and pedal stand it's it's a lot you know what feels sad is I actually got wheel and uh, that wheel and pedal stand and stand and I haven't used it that much just because I I don't have uh, this specific like there's like this little part that isn't sold together with the whole thing where you can put your gearbox so you can switch gears and uh yeah that's the whole reason why i got the whole thing and i haven't used it and it was really expensive so that's great that 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 just makes me very happy oh man let's go on this one blast type okay and they can reflect physical attacks okay let's go with adam morlock i guess After streaming, I'm probably gonna go to like a rock concert-ish, more more of a pop rock bullshit. But oh well, that's the best I can find right now. We kind of missed it, so we decided, why not? Let's just go. Okay, so poison attacks won't work. That's fine. I can go with Namor, I guess. Most people be like, oh, you're doing it all wrong. Oh my god, you, 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 you idiot. That's not how you do Shadowland. Oh boy, people are not going to be happy. Uh, let's go with 12 here. Shadowland Flower 12. So we're going for gold, of course. There's no need for me to keep checking a thousand times. So let's go with Thanos. And I think uh, we still have Magneto, so... We're not done with the tier 4 characters yet, but we're almost done with them. Actually, I should also do the revives, now that I think about it, before... <laughs> yeah, yeah, revives, I know. I should also do the revives before I start using the tier 3 characters. Or the level 80 characters, if you want to call them. Uh, if you want to call them that way. Anyway, this is a villain floor, let's just go with Magneto. And then we revive a couple characters and that from that point on I don't really need to think about it at all okay next one please let's see on this one we can go with a combat type look at that Black Panther wants to get used huh well Black Panther is gonna get uh, his tier 4 by the way, I didn't mention that. That was cool. Let me revive uh, Wolvi. I almost revived uh, Moon Knight. I forgot Wolvi is better. Or at least newer, I don't know. So now villain is not as needed. Fire type is not as good since we lost three Asian Venom floors. Blast type is still great, but not as much. Combat seems to drop a bit. Not sure why. What do you mean by drop? Uh, I'm guessing because of this rumble floor, there's less good stuff where you can use them. So it's kind of like a more balanced type of Shadowland, I guess. So you can build whoever you want. But yeah, the fact that you don't need a lot of villains, that's actually pretty good in my uh, in my mind. So heroes have an advantage here. Let's just revive a hero, 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 hero. Let's go with Thor. Why the hell not? Start it. That's kind of a weird way of doing Shadowland, I know, but uh, it's worth trying. Seems interesting. Seems like fun, baby. 
I should actually put this phone on charge. Well, I mean my phone. <laughs> this phone. But yeah, you get what I mean. Stop it. Stop being so uh, specific about my dumb mistakes. All right, phone's on charge. Let's keep going. Okay, so now we're doing, we're doing, we're doing this one. So it's a villain floor where they reflect physical attacks. So we need a villain that has energy damage. Okay, villain energy. Let's go like this. Uh, I don't really have one, but how about we put uh, Carnage in there? And now it's easier to rush Shadowland because there are higher, there's higher likelihood of landing entry floors, six tokens per run. Yeah, that I did notice. So it's an, it wasn't just me, right? Like that's pretty good. That's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm guessing uh, it's not that there's a higher chance. It's just probably less floors, right? I mean, they did add a couple of floors, but uh, they probably took away more than they added. It's not just you, it's math. Yeah, I'm guessing what I said right now is probably what you meant to say. Uh, or w why you meant it's easier to get them. Uh, Hulk now. It's, it's actually kind of fun. How about you try this as well whenever you have nothing to do? I mean, hopefully... Oh, by the way, my mistake. I actually uh, lowered the graphics uh, earlier just to do ABX and ABL. Uh, I missed doing it that way because I wanted I wanted to just be able to see what the hell was happening. So let me just enable these again. Uh, sorry about that, I forgot. When we start getting the tokens, by the way, I'll get some... Uh, I'll use them on, obviously... Uh, well, uh, we want to get cable done next, so I'm going to use them on cable. And uh, then... Um, hopefully we get a good amount from world boss as well and we can also use those for cable but yeah cable definitely seems like he's gonna eat a lot of uh, carbonadium he's not a an expensive type like odin and wolvie but he's still expensive i think he's still a native so it's still a bit annoying so uh the good thing is it looks like it doesn't matter if a character is a native uh or not when uh, well if a character is a native or double cost native when you're doing uh when you're actually tier fouring them because uh apparently they both cost or they both end up costing just a thousand uh carbonadium so that's pretty nice or am i wrong i don't know i think i'm i'm right about that anyway uh connected the gamepad really quick right now or the xbox controller right now just so that i can clear a couple of, uh, of these uh really quick and that uh, we can do well boss Batman is back in MFF. I'm hoping he's actually good. I mean, why not? I'm not gonna actually tier 4 the guy, but at least level 80 should be great. Cable tier 3 level 70 already can do above Shadowland 235, so I have him level 80. One tier 4 him for now. Well, that's actually great, yeah. Just actually taking advantage of uh, characters that are just great as they are. That's not a bad idea. Just so that you can do, you know, <laughs> your 235 uh but yeah after that obviously go with any character you want 99 percent copied from batman it's kind of fun who cares who cares let's get this done it shouldn't take us too long it's just stage 20 i don't go higher what's the point what is the point guys does anyone know what the point is there's no point there's no point in doing that Oh god, why would you waste your time, to be honest? As long as you can get those uh, chests where you can end up getting premium cards and CDPs, why why bother? Look at this guy not getting this done in one rotation. Disgrace. <laughs> it's such a disgrace. By the way, welcome, devil. Sorry, I didn't say hi, but yeah, I did So I did see your, uh, your chats, of course. I ended up getting Zhongli, by the way, it took me 80 pulls, but that's actually really good. 
uh, I can't complain because I was expecting to maybe even fail the 50-50 and end up wasting even more than that on him. And now I have a 70 and I'm about to get like about uh, 80 wishes in total left, which, uh, which is pretty good as a start. In uh, about 20 days, there's going to be the 4.1 update where we will have Wesley and uh, uh, Novelette. But I'm not going for any of them. I wish I could go for Venti, which is like the god of air powers. But eh, I want to save. So I probably will save for about two months, which is like 80 days, I guess. Or even more. Well, 10, 20 days now and then another 40 days. That's probably... 60 days not 80 days fully and uh yeah then we'll get like the god of water which is going to be a new character and that's what i want to get and uh then after that the god of electricity who, who i haven't been around uh, when they were on so i've missed those so i will buy gene deluxe back in a month i have now 4,000 crystals need 2,000 half uh or 2.6 crystals uh, a thousand crystals my god i uh, missed a few story mode runs today sorry man Moon Knight, Venom, Cap, bye bye. Uh, wait a second. Oh yeah, I'm doing world boss. I'm like, what? Why am I using three characters? <laughs> In YouTube, MFG, nobody keep mm, comparison with you be between Cable and Iron Man, world boss legend. Shouldn't Cable be insane? Why would you? Why would you need a <laughs> comparison for that? I just noticed I missed the Jambos run too. Oh god. I might have n missed it as well. So, high five, question mark. But don't worry about it, I guess. Man, look at this. This is what we wasted two months for. This type of damage. Even Moon Knight is faster. Oh god. I mean, I get it. You have to use the tier 3 skill to see like really good numbers and stuff. But man, come on. What the hell? When is Wolvie gonna get a good treatment hmm? probably for the movie which is yeah that's that's probably gonna be for the movie right that's when we'll see op wolvie and maybe op deadpool as well uh iron man still meta i don't know i use him i guess but uh, i i actually don't follow the meta if you, if you haven't noticed uh for a few reasons first of all i don't push as you've uh, seen on world boss i always go at like stage 20 and i still haven't reached state tw uh, stage 20 for gene and kang because eh, whatever um apart from that um what else what else what else i i only care about shadowland i only care about care uh, you know building the characters i like and then uh will is good in pve as you can see he actually took quite a while uh when moon knight was probably done by this point so yeah, I'd say Moon Knight is actually even better than Wolvie anyway, so that's probably a no. Though I don't remember, do I have a rage on Wolvie? I don't remember that. I probably have put a rage. <laughs> Wolverine damage is even lower than cap level 80? Probably, yeah. And probably that's true. I haven't checked specifically, but yeah, probably it's uh, it's lower. Let's see, I do have a rage on him and Cable still has a level 80 thing. Sorry, st uh, st Cable still has like a mini uh, rage because uh, I don't have any rages left. I need Wolverine's artifact. I do have it. Uh, thank God I got one. It's not the highest level, but it still keeps him alive for like a second. <laughs> um, I mean, my tier 4 Wolvie is lower than... Uh, cap level 80. Okay, so you have tested. Yes, but yeah, it's uh, it's way lower in damage, so that sucks. And there you go. That's how you can understand that I go against the meta anyway. So I don't go with meta characters. It's characters, you idiot. Anyway, so I don't go for meta characters. I like Genshin because of the fact that you shouldn't really always go for meta characters. You can do pretty much almost everything without getting meta characters. Uh, and I guess with that mindset, I've gotten pretty lucky because I've usually gotten the characters I wanted. Um, I do save and maybe spend a little bit, but not too much. So it's great. And here in Marvel Future Fight, uh, up to a point, you do need the me meta characters. But once you get to a certain level, you don't really need them anymore. You can go with characters that you like. And that's what I'm doing. To be honest, I can do any type of content in this game. So why, why bother? 
uh, at least the content that matters, right? Because you're like, oh, why can't you do stage 99 null or whatever? But why should I even do that? <laughs> and get the same rewards anyway, so who gives a shit? And I'm not going to be one of those guys like, oh, do stage 1, you get the same rewards. No, nah, do stage 20, at least. If you have some patience, maybe even do stage 50. But do stage 20. You still get premium cards and premium, uh, and CDP ch uh, like the CDP chance from the chest anyway. So it's better than stage 1. Stage 1, you just get the materials, but you don't get that chest. Or at least the chest that you get doesn't have them. But yeah, stage 20 is pretty much the lowest you can go. Uh, let's go. But yeah, tier 4 Wolvie, very expensive, took so long. Would have taken even longer if uh, actually tier 4 uh, wouldn't cost just a thousand carbonidium. I, th I thought that would have costed like, that would have cost like, um, what was it, like a thousand six hundred? That's what I was expecting because usually they cost 800, right? And then I was like, okay, so a native character costs a thousand, kind of weird. A double cost native, it's probably a thousand six hundred doubling it, right? Nope, 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 it was the same, just a thousand. So that, that was the only good thing about tier four in Wolby. I actually realized it's not really as expensive as I expected, but it's still expensive. And in the case of Wolverine, not worth it. But again, one of my favorite characters, I had to tier four him. So had to be done. And now it has to be Cable because he's a mutant and I love any kind of mutant related character. So yes, I will have to do Cable for uh, next. And then I don't have anything, uh, anyone specific apart from Odin because of the fact that Odin is, uh, you know, a native character and I need to go through them first, as I said. But after Odin, I, I think I definitely need to find the time to tier four either Luna or uh, Professor X. Professor X, obviously, just because of the fact that he's mutant, but Luna because she's Luna, right? Will be worth it for me because the uh, because of the mode that you hate the most, AC. Uh, what about on timeline? He doesn't perform that great on timeline, right? So it's not just me, I'm guessing, right? Or is it my build that it's just rage that's bad? There goes the fourth clear. I think we have one last clear. And then we should be able to, uh, you know, go on and start or proceed with Shadowland. And I got Wolvie's artifact from the previous mode you hate the most, Timeline Survival. That's nice. <laughs> I do have it as well. Uh, my friend has like a six star artifact. Probably not the right instinct, but still it's a six star artifact. So who, who would complain? Okay, okay, okay. All right, Thor, my friend. Thor should be pretty good at this. Oh, Thor is pretty great at uh, world boss. Ah, never mind. Well, this main in timeline battle, mighty greed. Ah, okay. But mine has a rage, so I don't know. But I'm not taking it out. It's Wolvie. It's gonna stay there. Oh, don't kill my Thor. This is uh, stage 20. Don't. Don't. It's not too difficult. So why would you end up fucking killing him? Oops, I said the F word. Let's not do that again. Let us not repeat this same mistake. Boom. And then boom. And then boom. Pretty okay damage, I think. Cannot complain. Going through the phase, I should be able to cancel it. This guy doesn't want to attack. Oh well, it's done now. Tier four skill, uh, tier three skill is available, so it's done. There you go. Now we're just gonna really quickly upgrade cable, or should I? I think I should wait till I get uh, uh, to the point where, because I think uh, it's it's better to show the. A disappointment that you get for wasting a lot of materials and not getting anything. I think that's that's gonna hit harder if I have even more materials. So I'll wait till I get two hundred five. Uh, sorry, two thousand five hundred of those uh, of the Shadowland tokens, and that's when I'll actually do it. So let's go with uh, at the moment Spidey. 
I'll go with Spidey just in case since uh, Gamora is there. I'm hoping maybe he can web her up before she does something crazy. Like kill my Spidey. But uh, yeah, hoping that's not gonna happen. Anyway. Anyway. Let's see. Let's see though. Because uh, she might still be pretty crazy enough to... No, never mind. No, no, didn't happen. We're all good. Okay. Well, there you go, Spidey. Enjoy your time. Just beating up dumb mobs. And it's not done yet. Oh my god, this should be the last one. There it is. Took so long, dude. Okay, there we go. Let's go to the next one. With the next floor being uh, this entry mode, which means I can use any type of character here. I'll just go with Cap. Well, Cap. Let's go with Cap. There we go. It started. Oh, you have 13 tier 4s. I only have 12 tier 4s. Um, do I have 13? I think I have 13, right? Yeah. But I also revived 2, so that means I have 15 tier 4s. Get good, mine. Good, good, man. Okay, so on this one we can go with anyone. Let's go, let's make this funny. Let's go on the really easy one and use a level 80 character. Yeah, this is going to be very weird, man. It, it already feels super weird. I just want to see how it goes after. Uh, just to see. Like, just to see how weird it's going to be, like, just clear clearing-wise, if they're going to be much slower. Uh, but, yeah, I want to see how fun it is to just go backwards and use really bad characters at a floor 100. Uh, but I think most characters should be able to do it anyway, so I think we're fine. Uh, let's go floor 22. Um, went on this one. I think probably this is easy enough. Um, uh, let's go with Cable on this one. Yeah. Oh, actually, let me not... Mm, I guess I'll use Cable. It's fine. Uh, we're gonna see the upgrades that I'm gonna do to his gears right now. We're gonna see them next week, I guess. But it's not gonna be any huge upgrade. I think it's probably gonna go to, like gear 28 on the first one and that's the only difference unless it's already 28 it's maybe gonna hit 29 i don't think so it's it's not gonna happen but yeah felt weird you go for wolvi tier 4 even though you like pve only why didn't you go for luna tier 4 because wolvi is one of my favorite characters and i don't go for meta why would i go for luna just for abl score why so that i can get uh Mm, when delay gym fragments or that I get awakening crystals I have enough of those any update that comes out I have the right amount of uh, materials immediately so essentially I have no reason to try I have no reason to try my friending so I'm just fine with it I'll uh, probably go uh, with Cable Odin and then Professor X if nothing changes if by nothing changes, I mean uh, if no new mutant is out or no important favorite character is out. If something like that happens, obviously my mm, wish list will will kind of change a little bit. I should actually re-disconnect my controller. <laughs> I have less and less reasons to use these guys anymore. Sad. Okay, there goes this. Let's go with... Uh, Flow, yeah, we're doing this one, I think. And let's go with Ant Man because it's such a hard floor. I really need his help. I, I don't know about you guys, but I can't do this floor on my own. I need Ant Man, he's so powerful. Well, that was easy. <laughs> oh no, I cannot do it. Ha, ha. Oh, oh, oh. Well, that was manipulation, idiot. Mm, okay, let's go with Odin on this one. It 
so hard to find the right position for the charge no, for the actual uh, controller to start charging. Oh, well, look at that! I thought he actually did it in one skill, but sadly he needed more power. Let's see, is it gonna be enough again? No. Yeah, it's just the characters that go on iframes. That's why. And maybe on the previous floor they were just probably too far. But yeah, easy peasy. Let's go to the next one. This one, mm, I think this is the one that's worth it, right? This is just ice weights, and this is probably the same. So either the first one or the last one, but obviously we're gonna go for the first one, it's easier. And obviously, for us to be able to. <laughs> this week is Julia Whale Overkill Showcase. Told you, man. I thought I thought this would have been a great idea, and it, it's kind of weird. <laughs> That's all I can say, it's just weird. Oh, wow, look at how powerful we are. I wonder why. But, uh, yeah, I wish, uh, I wish I had figured out the lighting. I didn't know it would have been this dark-ish. But it's fine, we can fix it. We can fix it. <laughs> It's just I'll have to get like some sort of like stool or something small that I can put at the top of the desk so I can put lights, uh, like bright lights that hit my face and make it shinier. <laughs> so let's see, there's a chance that the enemy activates energy immunity, blah, blah, blah. That means physical or nothing. Uh, let's go with this guy. Well, no, technically I'll use this guy on 29 probably. So let's go with Venom as we previously decided to. Man, what do you think? Do you think it's a bad idea that I'm doing this? How about you try it on your account? You, you'll probably see that you can do it as well. I do not think I'm being crazy. I think it's pretty smart, actually. Bonk. <laughs> I get to bonk enemies and just be done with it. And this might actually give me a reason to actually use the controller, because maybe at floor 100, some characters want to do much. To be shinier you need to be bald. Uh, do I need to shave my head now <laughs> for you guys to be happy? What the hell man? What the hell? What the helling are you saying? Okay let's go on this one. It's a hero requirement which means I can just do Professor X here. As I said I'm saving um, Miles for 29. Since it's all villains there it's gonna be kind of funny. Plus I could try to save, uh, who would I probably save? Uh, da -da 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 -da. I could probably try to save uh, Spider-Gwen for floor 32, since, you know, I'm using them on, on really low floors now, so it makes sense. Who should we actually save for floor 32? I think this floor is easier, therefore I need to use the stronger character here. And then, yeah, since Spider-Gwen is worse, she'll go a bit higher. That's how it works on Shadowland, right? Hmm. I think, at least. There's something that I'm really excited about and I can't wait till it's out. It's that uh, FSR 3 thing. And maybe even DLSS 3.5, but yeah, with DLSS 3.5, that's only going to be available on new games. Or games that support it. So, not really old games and stuff like that, but with FSR 3, it should work with any game that's DirectX, uh, DirectX 11 or Direct, uh, DirectX 12. So I'm hoping that I can actually enable it for Genshin. That would be kind of funny. I don't know if uh, if it's gonna, you know, uh, create issues for people. I hope it doesn't. So, heroes have an advantage here. Uh, I'll go on this one since, uh, wait, should I go for BAM or Non-Stones of Chaos? I don't, I don't know which one would be better. BAM, Non-Stones of Chaos. Hmm. Hum, hum, hum. I think BAM is a bit more useful. I don't think I use, uh, Non-Stones of Chaos for anything else. So anyway, we need a villain here. So let's switch to villain and let's use a really powerful one. Like let's go with Enchantress here. Because we need all the damage we can get. This is gonna be very hard. Look forward to see you use Black Panther Tier 4 and Floor 17, your next strongest to weakest Shadowland Rung. <laughs> yeah, because he's still weak. I get you. I get you. Ha. 
I ain't gonna tier 4 the guy though. I don't think I'll ever tier 4 him. No matter what. I, I already have quite a list of characters that I want to get first, right? So I want to finish Cable, I want to get Odin, and then I want to get Professor X. And then I can start thinking about other characters. Till then, mm. I don't know if they not a mutant or if they're not my favorite. I don't give a shit, to be honest. Anyway, we're going for feathers, I guess. So how about we use... Wait, let me see what else we can get in here. So it's either Blast, Speed, or... Um, yeah, let's go with Blast. Let's go with Blue Dragon. Yeah. So they reflect physical attacks. She'll be fine. Hopefully. <laughs> it's still Blue Dragon. Be careful. Blue Dragon, not good. Not good. Okay. Let's see it. Let's see it. I'm excited. Oh, she will start. Yeah. Auto will kind of suck. Well, it does suck already with uh, the Warriors of the Sky characters because they have a quite long skill uh, as their awakened skill. And it's, you know, it just, they just stay there. They don't even do much. Uh, there we go. So this time, as I said, we're going to be using Spider Gwen here. Let's see how fun this is. I mean, yeah, it's it should be easy anyway, but yeah, I haven't used insanely powerful characters in here ever. So this could be fun. I mean, technically, you know, uh, Spider-Man 2099 is not like a weak character or anything, but still, this girl is a level 80 character. Even though her awakened skill is kind of crap as well, so it takes a little bit of time to start. But then when it gets going, say bye-bye to all your enemies. There it is. Done. All right. I was hoping somebody would be like, oh, what the hell is he doing? You are using tier 4 character right in the beginning. But I guess, I guess nobody is actually noticing yet. <laughs> so on this one, let's see. I have a level 80 character still. Let's see what this is. Non-mutant characters have an advantage. So I could go with Shadow Shell in here. Uh, what's the difference? This one is going to give me Ruse, and this one will give me Obelisks. So how about, uh, hmm. Okay, I guess I can go for Urus, right? Hmm. What to do? What to do? All of them might debuff you. Oh no, look at me getting debuffed. Oh no. I mean, it's non-mutant, right? So, Shadow Cell is not a mutant. So it should be fine. As you will be able to see. But look at this. This is going to take a while. Actually. Oh, actually. Oh, I think I remember. She's the only one that actually hits when this awakening skill is uh, started. I don't remember. Was it her or was it uh, uh, War Tiger? Hmm. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Characters with unique fire, Phoenix Force. Oh god, I forgot. I, I will have to use Hyperion here. I could have actually saved uh, Gene for this one. <laughs> I'm not going to be stuck, don't worry. But uh, yeah, it's still annoying. I could have saved a really powerful character because I really need the help, you know. But yeah, Gene. Actually, just Gene. I don't think Namor is going to be really any help. Oh my god, he's getting hit. This is gonna be scary. He might die. Uh, no. But he is gonna take a bit longer than normal because uh, the game is not as smart as I am. Pulling off great rotations and stuff. Ooh, that was loud. Nice. Anyway, so this one. Who do we do this with? Uh, taking on a challenge with a formidable team. I don't think I have any level 80 characters left anymore, right? So... I think we can go with whoever's the strongest out of all my combat characters. So let's go with uh, She-Hulk. And I do say that she's the strongest just because she has a rage, by the way. I'm not saying there are worse characters. And also, I was going for hero characters. So Dokken, for example, might be stronger than her. But he's just, you know, a villain, sadly. Look at her. Wow. This was so helpful. Thank you very much. Go. Go now. I do not need you anymore. Go away, please. Thank you. All right. So we're, we're, we're back on floor 36 and above. So this is where the fun starts. 
So this is the relay mode, and as I said, we're going with the strongest characters I can find first. So, mm, Doctor Strange. <laughs> and look at this guy, he's getting wasted, because uh, sadly, he... Oh, she beat up her boyfriend? Oh, God. Yeah, she probably... That's, that's like real life live point of view video of what happened on that series <laughs> that night that's exactly what happened that's why he hurt his back you know that's was like oh, limping like oh tired god oh no there goes dr strange thank you very much for your service my friend it's gonna be very hard now this is actually gonna be the hard part because uh, up to this point, I was like, oh, tier 4, tier 4, level 80, easy to choose. Now I'm like, okay, villain, but not weak one. So backwards, good ones. You know what? Yeah, makes sense, I guess. I don't know. But yeah, let's go with Strife. I would consider, I will kind of go for like uh, when they first came out, I guess, or when whoever's the latest character that came out. I guess that would be a pretty okay way to do this. Um at least in the beginning, like most of the recent characters are going to be the strongest ones. So that's what uh, that's who I'll go with. Let's see Strife, man. He's going to have a field day with these guys. Bye. <laughs> oh, God. At least I got that sentence through before before he was done. That's good. Uh, okay. When we get to 2,500 tokens, just let me know. This should help with that, by the way. <laughs> um, okay. So villain, 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 villain. Let's switch. And for this one, I think it would be a great idea. Let's just go with Kang. Maybe he's going to keep them alive. And then, uh, as per usual, I will uh, use really powerful characters on the team. Just because, yeah, you know, that's how we do this shit. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go like this, maybe. I think that's going to keep them safe. And then support. Uh, start actually i should be careful when i actually do actually actually when i do entry modes because i just got rid of a couple of uh transcended characters and some of the transcended characters i get rid of might be transcended characters i want to use later so that's something that's gonna be a bit tricky to handle with using the best characters first but there goes uh this floor i don't think uh we needed to worry did we and please, sir, get this done. Thank you. It's all Kang, right? He's doing pretty good. Thank you. Come again. Next one. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Okay, on this one, we will have just a boss mode, which means any character I want, I can just use here. So that's pretty good. I'll, I'll just go with hero just because it will make it easier to decide who to use. Um, Let's go with Polaris, I guess. Though I can go with Scarlet Witch first, just because she's probably much better. And let's start. Still not uh, at 2,500 uh, tokens, but uh, really soon. Really soon, my friend. It's really soon. There we go. How many characters would we still need to be able to do... Um, or to be able to get 2,500 tokens immediately every week. We need like 250 uh, characters that are gonna be left after 35, which means uh, about, let me do the math here, about 27 new characters as well so yeah that's gonna be a while i don't think that's gonna happen anytime soon uh anyway blast type characters let's switch to blast and uh it's not new what i'm doing some in some cases i already use really powerful characters early on just because they are older like for example iceman he's been out for a really long time Maybe, you know, he has gotten a uniform, of course, but what I mean is, like, I've gotten used to seeing his face, so my brain is like, okay, he's old, let's use him early. But yeah, if I use Iceman now, he probably is better than Polaris anyway, so it, it's not going to be completely new, but it's still kind of funny because we started with tier 4s and stuff. 
Let's see. Floor one, uh, sorry, 41 female characters are required. Let's go like this. And let's see. Who's like really powerful here? Let's go with Cena. Oh God. I always almost started without using another two characters as well. Two more floors after this one and we should have the 2,500 tokens that we need. And then we can see an upgrade cable. Finally. Even though it's gonna not it's not gonna even put a dent to like the whole amount of investment that we have to actually put uh into it. So that sucks. Uh let's see. Wave mode, wave mode, wave mode. It's a villain floor, so we can just go like this and then use Mephisto. Or wait, let's go with uh Modoc. He's actually pretty good to be honest. And let's start it. Yeah, easy. It's a wave mode though. So that's gonna take a while. Oh boy. At least not too long. It looks like, yeah, because this is the type where you don't have a lot of, you know, uh, mobs. At least not on all of the waves. So it, that's kind of speeding things up. Not by a huge amount, but it's still helping out. Oh God, come on. Thank you. One thing that this has done is that we're still, we're still, we're already kind of far ahead on the clears. So I've done like, I probably will be, will have done like, uh, this is a rumble, so I'm not doing rumble still. Uh, I probably will have done like 50 floors in an hour. So that's kind of fast. Anyway, combat type. Let's go with combat. See who's really powerful here. And again, hero combat. So let's go, let's go with Groot. He's the most recent one ish. So yes, I know I already use him early on anyway. So again, as I said, it's gonna not be extremely new in some cases, but it's still pretty fun. Let's see. Let's go Groot. Show them most pause. And it's done. Wow, how fast. How fast we did this. This is insane, insane. Okay, let's go. Our first purchase on Shadowland Shop. Yeah. Is everybody excited as I am? <laughs> is everybody as excited as I am, huh? Uh, if the shop would actually work. Give me a sec. There we go. That's the carbonadium we ordered. Thank you. Let us go and check how far we can get with Cable's gear. So it's already at 28. It probably will hit 29, but yeah, that was still really close to not hitting 29. Um, so we hit 29. Uh, we're almost at 30 on this first gear. Hmm. When did we actually tier for Wolvi? I really don't remember, but mm, it's is it good progress? Would you consider this pretty fast? Have I gotten pretty lucky or what? I don't know. People who have actually tier 4 a lot of characters just let me know, I guess. Uh, that's a rumble. It feels like I've gotten pretty lucky though. There's no other way to actually explain it. It's kind of lucky. Hmm. Suspiciously lucky if you ask me. Perfect, let's start. But at this point, we don't need to keep in anything else in mind. So like stuff like, oh, wait till you get 2,500 tokens and buy this uh, carbonadium. Nope, now we just get to enjoy clearing shadow and just uh, for the sake of it. Oh God, come on, Blade. Took him so long to even start being able to attack him, let alone doing decent damage. Uh, but okay, we did it, so that's good. Didn't take extremely long, but still, those eight seconds felt super super long i don't know i was trying to find another word for it but yeah it didn't work anyway let's go with hero we have a an entry mode here let's go with mm, character that's gonna be really powerful so let's go with sentry for example and then use two tier two characters like so 
and then go support. And again, as I mentioned, I'm gonna be careful not to waste some uh, transcended characters. I'm gonna keep, keep some there, uh, especially if they're transcended villains, because some of them we will need to use, as I've uh, mentioned before. Uh, it's just backwards. They're gonna be clearing the highest floors. So that can be uh, risky, of course, but I want to try it. I want to see some. I want to see how scary it is, how difficult it is to get that high with them. And well done. There we go. They're all alive, which is the most important part about this. <laughs> and now we can just continue with the amount of entry modes that I got. It still took quite a while and we still went really high on the floor so I don't know what went wrong or if my calculations were off or if we just have gotten too many characters and it still doesn't help it still takes a while anyway uh let's see uh take on the challenge let's go with kitty pride I guess she is pretty recent and tart 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 thank you very much sadly I don't think I'll be able to hit floor 50 in just an hour doesn't look like I'll be that lucky, but oh well. What? 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 How's it going round? Welcome, welcome, welcome. What are you up to? Excuse my weird lighting. I've changed the whole setup, moved things around, and I don't have... Just woke up. Okay. Welcome, and also good morning, my friend. I'm doing Shadowland backwards, so I've already used all my tier 4s and t level 80s, and now I'm going with the strongest characters I can find first, and then the weak ones. So, Ice Element attacks won't work here. Let's just go with Emma, I guess. And Oh, God, she might be a Ice-related as well. So let's just go me with, 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 uh, with, 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 uh, who the hell? Let's go with uh, Silver Surfer, I guess. And just go like this. Boop, 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 and start. Good stuff. Good stuff. But yeah, I, I changed the whole setup, so I don't have a good way to... Or a good place to uh, set these uh, lights. So they're a bit further away from me than normal. And that's why less bright. But still... This camera, man, it, it really handles colors well, even on low, you know, lighting. Even on low light, it's still amazing. Amazing. Okay, let's go. Let's rumble. Let's refresh. I'm going to miss floor 50 by just a little bit. Because it just uh, is about to hit an hour in total that we've been streaming. Which is pretty fast still. We've gotten pretty high uh, already anyway. So this one we'll do with Iceman. And let's go with Phantom X and uh, uh, Jubilee. I almost forgot her name. And now we should be able to waste these three characters right there and start it. Hell yeah, that's easy. That's an easy one if you ask me. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Let's get it, Mr. Iceman son. And uh, he just got it, by the way. I am here to inform you he uh, succeeded in obtaining it. Okay, there you go. It's done. Well done, well done. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Uh, six seconds in total. Not the shortest, but also not the longest ever. So that's good. And now let's go with another entry mode. Yeah, this is great, man. If you ask me, this is just fucking perfect. I don't care. Let's go with hero uh, characters and just waste the next batch of uh, tier 2 characters, which were Rachel and Kid Omega. And then we go support and waste a few characters real quick. Like boop, boop, boop and start. I have 79 characters at level 60 still, Julio. Took 2 to 70 right now. Mm. I'm actually jealous. I'm keeping them at level 60, bro. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I, I will probably do something like that uh, when, when I hit 2 billion gold or when I hit the max limit, essentially. And that's when I will go a little bit ham on the 
levels of the characters that I use. But to be honest, I don't really see any benefit in doing that. It's just gonna, you know, make it easier for me to tier 3 them or transcend them. I said last night, Lamal. What did you say last night, huh? What did you say last night? Oh, last night. What did I say? <laughs> Whoops. Whoopsie doopsie. I might have said something kinky. No, I don't think so, but still. Still, I'm going with an Ancient One on this one. And uh, then boop, 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 boop. Waste these two and start. You said right now. Ah, sorry. My braining is not braining. Three to one, please, man. Start. There you go. Easy. Easy. Next one. Man. So, uh, when did I level 80 cable? Did I actually say when I did that? Hmm. Now, it definitely wasn't, so it definitely was after the Shadowlands stream. It might have been on Monday or Tuesday. I don't remember exactly, but from then till now, getting a gear almost done. Now, I, I don't think I've gotten lucky. I think what's kind of tricking me, because, you know, what, what I'm talking about is I just got cable to like gear 29 on the first one and started for gear 30 on the first one, but and it feels like it feels like I did pretty well, and I did I went there uh, pretty fast. But what's actually messing with me is probably the fact that I had tier four Wolvie, and still hadn't gotten potential for Cable. So I I had some days that I'm not, you know, considering I guess. But still, pretty annoying. Takes so long, bro. And it's I don't know if it's worth it. I mean, for Cable it definitely is, but yeah, for Wolvie it wasn't worth it at all. That guy is just lucky that he's one of my favorite favorite characters. I went with tier fouring him, but uh, apart from that, bro, I would have skipped Wolvie for quite a long time. And he's also lucky that he's a native, which means even though the character is bad, just the fact that he's a native, you know, kind of forces me to want to, uh, you know, tier four them earlier than the, than the rest. Which is why Odin is going to be one of the next ones, but obviously Cable first. There's a rumble. Bye bye rumble. Thank you very much for not being there anymore. And we go with uh, speed type. Mm, set speed type is going to be... Let's go with Spidey 2099. 2099 and start. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. Just a fifth skill. Not bad. And only two seconds. God. Ah, man. I don't remember. Uh, I think last week I got close to starting with level 80 characters at around floor 60 something, maybe around floor 70 ish. So when we get there, it's going to be kind of weird because my brain is like, okay, time to use level 80, time to use tier fours. Nope. Can't do that. I already did. Good luck with that, my friend. Anyway, so here I'm just gonna try to go for hero anyway, even though you can also go for villains. Uh, but let's go with uh, rogue and then waste a couple of characters if I can find a couple of characters that I can waste. Like, uh, for example, oh, wow, I don't have a lot of characters that I can waste actually. Um, these two I guess I don't know not the greatest but we'll give that a try and now I'm gonna try to be careful to only use like hero transcended characters when I'm uh, actually putting them on entry modes just so that I don't make mistakes this could be weird man this can end up make making me not even need to use as many transcendent villains that I as I normally do because I usually use all the transcendent villains at the beginning yo devil welcome back uh what's up but yeah this could make me actually end up doing less floors in total or using less transcendent villains I mean because 
the f total of amount of floors that I do is going to be the same, but it's just less annoying characters to use, I guess. That's probably what I meant to say, but let's see. Let's see. We'll 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 try to see um, how early we can finish this. Or uh, I'm gonna try to see how many transcendent villains I will have to use. I think that's a better way to uh, figure this out. Let's go with hero, and we're just gonna go with the male characters. So let's see who's a very strong male character that we have here. Hmm. Well, technically. I can go with Rocket since he's one of the recent ones, but I could have also gone with uh, Falcon. He's also pretty uh, pretty powerful. He'll be the happiest person after getting a rework of Shadowland. I mean, Shadowland got reworked, and yeah, it's fun. It's fun. I don't mind it. I was uh, expecting them to make the CDP chest way uh, more expensive, but I mean, it definitely is expensive for people who don't have a lot of characters, but for people who have uh, pretty much every character, this is pretty good. If you never go for Carbonadium, you should be able to get um, about a CDP in a month and a half. So it's actually pretty good. But since I want to go for Carbonadium most of the time, it's going to be a bit longer for me. But it's still better than Otherworld. Otherworld was expensive for CDPs. It takes really long to actually get them. Because I also get Carbonadium there as well. So it, it takes longer. Anyway, female characters have an advantage here. Let's go female... And uh, let's see, let's choose a strong female character. There is an abundance of them, as you probably have noticed in movies and stuff. So, yay. It's not going to be a difficult thing to choose one. For Jeans Tier 4, uh, for Jean Tier 4, gear 6,000 enough approximately? 6,000 what? Feathers? Maybe not enough. I don't know. Oh, you, oh, you mean 6,000 carbonadium? Oh, yeah, for sure, bro. It should be fine. It should be fine. I think. I hope. I don't know, man. It's, uh, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> it's carbonadium. We're always low on it. I don't know for sure. Might not be enough. I don't know. Electric based attacks don't work, so that means just let's go with heroes and uh, use really strong characters, like for example, White Fox. Even though I normally use her early, she's actually pretty powerful, so she has to go uh, early as well. I only realized that she's insane when I did 235. I swear to God. I always would use her really early on because like, ah, she she sucks. I would be like, oh god, she's really bad. But yeah, that fourth skill, which she finally decided to use, because for some reason the AI doesn't like to actually use that fourth skill a lot. Uh, but that fourth skill is actually insane when doing Shadowland. The third skill is pretty good as well. The fourth skill is actually insane. Um, White Fox Uni is uh, paid to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's actually a uh, paid uniform, yeah. We got an entry mode again. Happy days. Let's go with hero. Probably going to go with Falcon on this occasion. And then since I don't have a lot of tier 2 characters that can survive these floors, I will start using transcended um, characters here. So let's go like this and then go like support and waste these heroes because we don't need them tokens but yeah with tokens yeah twenty dollars so it's like twenty dollars so you can get twenty tokens and then the ten tokens that you get for free you know what i i never actually uh thought about this but technically you can get these uniforms for free but it takes like a year to do that oh sorry that takes three years to do that what i mean is uh we we get like 10 tokens for free every time uh, for each season, right? So let's talk about summer, for example. Uh, or, you know, let's talk, let's talk about Christmas, right? Because this is this was like a Christmas uniform. Technically, you get 10 tokens for free, right? And then you need to buy 20 tokens or 20 token, uh, $20 worth of stuff so that you get the other 20 tokens. But what you could do is you don't 
do that and you don't spend them for anything, you keep them there. Next year when it's uh, the Christmas season, you get another 10 tokens, right? You don't spend those either. You wait for the third year, which is when you can get either the latest winter uniform that drops or you can get the one for White Fox because you love White Fox, for example, right? Just a dumb example. But yeah, you basically can get a seasonal uniform once every three years. So it doesn't have to be one of the old ones. You can get it. You can get the latest one. It's just you have to wait three years to get 30 tokens. But maybe it's worth it. I mean, it's better. What the fuck? The tokens will not be removed from in the inventory. No, it's the same tokens. Have you not noticed, like, for example, or at least I think, and people will have to confirm that if they've done that, right? But at least, as far as I know, because of the fact that when you get new uniforms for, like, a season, right? Like, summer, uh, you also can use those same tokens to buy old uniforms, right? If if you might have miss, missed one of them and you're a whale, let's say, and you don't care, you'd want to buy them too. Uh, yeah, that's how it works. And as far as I know, it's probably the same exact tokens, so you can actually just keep them. I hope. I'm. I hope I'm not wrong. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong about that. Let's see. Speed characters. Let's go with a hero speed character, and that's probably Hawkeye. Now let's. Now Chasm is a villain, so I can't use Willem. Uh, I mean, I can, but I just want to save them for later. Even though technically we don't really need to save villains anymore. There's not a lot of villain floors that we get. If they done it in a way where the tokens will actually be removed or they are not going to be the same, that's actually very fucking sad. They could have kind of excused themselves with this saying that oh well if you wait three years you can choose one of the new uniforms or just get the latest one right but yeah if they done it in a way that you cannot save them then it's kind of scummy that kind of sucks okay let's see relay mode speed type characters have an advantage again let's go with speed i think it doesn't matter if I have villains left or not, so I'll just do it like this. I don't care. I will use villains if they are really strong. It's fine. One to tier four Halloween. Hope uh, we don't get like a pre to, uh, pay to play uniform. Damn, that could be annoying. <laughs> that could be bad. Hope so too, though. And yeah, tier four Wanda. When? I forgot that she uh, she can get a tier 4 at some point. We keep getting a lot of native, char native characters tier 4 at the moment, so that's going to suck because she's probably also going to be one of them. So combat characters have an advantage. I'll go combat now. Uh, combat, combat, combat. Why did I end up hearing that anyway, even though I lowered the volume? It's so annoying. I hope you guys didn't hear that as well. I think you did, right? There was a little sound. Kind of sucks. I've muted it. You have been muted, idiot. Dr. Strange also needs a tier 4. Yep, there you go. There's another character that can get a tier 4. And it's going to suck. Because I'll have to get them and build them. So yeah, as I said, I probably can go for villains and heroes. And it shouldn't matter uh, about saving villains for later. So yeah, sure. But... Just for this week, I will try to leave the tr uh, Transcended Villains for as late as possible, just to see how many I end up using. But next time, I will probably not even care about using Transcended Villains or Transcended Heroes, because it doesn't matter at this point. It just... We don't get a lot of Transcended... Uh, we don't get a lot of Villain Floors anyway, so it's fine. Uh, Kang will get it, uh, a uniform in Loki Season 2. Uh, yeah, I mean, I kind of see it, uh, and probably also a tier 4, so yay. But also Loki tier 4? I don't know who will get the tier 4, actually. I think Loki's next uniform will get in uh, 2024, a new year. Actually, does Loki still have a rage for me? Oh, he does. Damn. I should be careful not to remove it, because we might end up just getting a tier 4 for him soon. 
uh, next year. Yo, morning, Angelo. Welcome. I'm doing Shadowland backwards, by the way. I'm using the strongest characters first and then the weakest characters later. It's kind of fun, I think. Um, so on this one, let's go with Kingpin, I guess. And then boop, boop. Damn it. Boop, boop. Start. Uh, when's the season two of Loki? Isn't it soon? And the fact that we're getting so little content from Marvel sucks, but at the same time, they, their content started to suck. So I don't know. Uh, October starts the web series, six episodes in six weeks. Uh, November 20, they can give us an update on Black Friday. Uh, I don't know. I guess. Uh, I will guess not, though. But, oh well. Probably yes, though. I don't know. It's kind of a weird thing to get, like, a... You know, a Black Friday update from just a series. So they might not end up doing that. I don't know. They might. They might. I don't know. Uh, anyway, uh, let's go with a speed type here, right? And let's go with... Uh, squirrel girl then and go like boop boop I guess oh this time I said I would save the villains but yeah next time I will probably not even care I made it to floor 96 yesterday I need to work on 34 tunes for the CDP uh, yeah I mean work on as many characters as you can get as many of the characters that you have to level 80 and that's gonna make it much easier uh, but yeah, apart and obviously you're tier 4 in characters slowly, so that's going to help. But yeah, try to level 80 a lot of characters. Try to make that your focus before you start tier 3 in characters. Work on characters that can be level 80, so tier 3 them first. Or if you already have them at tier 3, uh, work on wasting your materials to level 80 them instead of, uh, you know, tier 3 in other characters. I don't know how you might want to do it, but I think that's the best thing because level 80 characters are going to uh, have a really easy time clearing uh, floors. So I think that's how I would do it. Anyway, this is a villain floor. Finally, we're going on a villain floor. Let's go with Mephisto on this one. Mephisto, 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 Mephisto. Mephisto is a really strong character, so I'm using him early now. Secret Invasion ended a month ago, still no update. Yeah, that is also correct. So I don't know what they're going to do about Loki. I mean, I think it's a really uh, well-liked show. So they will probably do something about it. But uh, Secret, Inv Secret Invasion, nobody really cared about. Apart from the fact that Nick Fury would get a tier 3. And that would be helpful in World Boss. There's nothing else that really people would care about in, in that series. So, ugh. Anyway, so male hero. I'm just going with hero here and let's see who's the strongest male character we have here. Mm. Hum, 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 hum. I actually don't know. <laughs> uh, let's go with Deadpool, I guess. And let's start. Black Panther is getting a tier four. Yes, that's true. Uh, yo, you Yubair. I don't know if I said your name right, but yeah, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Thanks for joining. Why are they ignoring Justice for next tier 3? Because uh, uh, that series sucked. Nobody liked it. Me included. I hated it. I don't want to get that Gaia bitch on, on the game. That sucks. Also, by the way, that's about to demonetize me. Just saying. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's my thoughts, at least. Uh, Black Panther is getting tier 4. Hell yeah. Um, for me, he's just going to be level 80, of course. But still. It's better than having him there at S tier 3 and with a really, really, really old uniform. Man, they actually skipped him on his own movie. Well, at least, well, technically it wasn't his movie, but still. Nick will get tier 3 in November for the Captain Marvel movie. Could happen, yeah. I mean, Spectrum is already transcended. Characters overpowered, wasted. <laughs> oh, God. Combat types, okay. Let's see. Combat, 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 combat. Uh, it will use Crescent, I guess. Yeah, why not? But yeah, um, that can work. So out of that movie, Captain Marvel would get her tier four. 
Kamala has a tier 3 already. Spectrum has transcended potential. So Nick Fury is going to get a tier 3. Or maybe even just transcended, right? They, they also do that kind of bullshit where they just transcend a character without a uniform. So they could do that for Nick Fury. And uh, I don't know. Definitely Captain Marvel is getting a tier 4, but I don't know who else would get, would get a tier 4 if it's going to be Kamala or no one. <laughs> or just like a random character, just like Black Panther was a random character for this update, I guess. That can happen, I don't know. Anyway, relay mode. Blast type characters have an advantage. Let's go with a really strong blast type, uh, like for example, Cable right here. And then boobity bobbity boobity, start the floor. We're on floor 66. I still don't remember when I started to use uh, level 80 characters last week, because it was pretty early. Uh, Wanda scoring this much score with level uh, 70 in ABX, what if she gets a tier 4? She'll get about 11, 11 million, maybe 12 million if you're a whale. Trust me man, it gets really difficult no matter how good your cards are, your swords, unless you're whale out on every small detail. 12 million is not easy for every character. Just some really OP characters like Jean can get it. And maybe like Magneto because they are like broken ABX type characters. Maybe even Luna, I'm not exactly sure because I haven't tier 4 her yet. So electric based attacks won't work. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Very strong character. Who would we go for? Mm. Let's go with Chasm, I guess. Oh wait, no, he has a lot of electric. He has a lot of electricity anyway, so let's not, I guess. Mm -hmm. Let's go with Ultron, I guess. Oh, no, wait. Let's go with Loki. That's actually quite perfect. And boop, boop, start. Loki is on. Let's see you destroy them. Oh, God. Without someone actually playing Loki and doing a right or the right rotation, he is a bit slow. <laughs> Not super slow, but still. Because you want to do like a really quick rotation for him. But it's fine. 11 seconds, not the worst. It's not the end of the world, you know what I mean? Anyway, so this one's going to be easy. We just go with speed types. And then we choose a really good one like Wong. I forgot Wong is actually good, by the way. <laughs> uh, whoops, I forgot. I'm having trouble with books. I want a tier 3 and tier 4 cable. Hmm. Okay, are you ready to tier 4 him or are you just slowly going to get there? Yeah, books are another beast, bro. Just you have to tackle that beast as well, I guess. That's why like the more consistent you are the, with the game, the better it is cuz you don't fall into that issue of never getting enough books of uh, to, you know, tier 3 everybody or to yeah, well, to tier 3, that, let's say. Because, uh, for example, I'm done and I usually just have to grind to like max them out for the next update. But for you, maybe you're missing some characters. So while you're grinding for the new characters of the new update, you also may want to have some extra books for like tier 3 characters that you haven't uh, tier 3 yet from previous updates. So it's a bit annoying. I get you. Let's see. And we're going to go with a villain here. Uh, villain, 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 probably, yeah, Chasm, finally. Okay, it's time to use Chasm, thank you. Let's start. This is such a weird clear, also floor 69, baby. Okay, good. And it's done, yes. It took a little while, I would have expected it to be much faster but okay let's go to the next one uh this next one is floor 70 again a villain floor and on this one i can go with just gore i guess yeah gore first and then ultron or something we'll we'll see we'll see now we can do um oh this is just a villain thing right so i can probably go like all and get rid of these two instead good I'm building up the software my but uh, what what did you mean to say there but books are the problem 
the soft for my oh soul of Faltine uh, for cable I guess right hmm how many GBR clears can you do every day okay that was easy next one That's a rumble. Nope. 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 Oh god. There you go. Finally. So poison is, you know, not gonna work. So let's see. What to use instead? What to use instead? What to use instead? I guess let's go with Ultron, as I said. And uh yeah, let's get rid of these two and start. Don't forget to do your GBR clear. Oh, I have a lot of time to do that because reset already happened. So I'm doing uh, dimension missions first. I'll leave the GBR for later, I guess. But yeah, like how many GBR clears can you do, Angelo? And out of the number that you're gonna give me, how many of them can you actually do on your own? And finally, Ultron will decide to kill him. Oh my god, this was such a long clear. I hated this uniform, by the way. Did everyone else hate this uniform as much as I did? Because Ultron ended up being OP on the What If series, but this uniform just sucks, bro. It's bad. So <laughs> let's go with speed, and we need physical type speed characters here. Let's go with... Um, I think Quicksilver is really strong, so let's go with him and start. I I think he's strong, even though he's old, because of the fact that he moves quite fast or he has a lot of AOE, so he can actually hit people all around him, while uh, Elektra would probably do her second skill and just have to wait for her to just kind of walk around the enemy and then not hit for a while and it's just annoying but he he just keeps attacking the whole time i can do like seven on my own now my question is why so i mean okay so maybe you just meant that that's how many clears you can do okay how many clears do you do every day though that's an entry mode and we will use a hero character okay cool cool cool, cool. Uh, let's go with Jane on this one and uh, let's waste a couple of characters uh, the last ones I, I will waste the last ones since up here and then support get rid of some other hero characters like so damn it I missed the first one and start I, I have a reason about why I'm asking, by the way, so I'll tell you after I get my answer. Because what I mean is, like, I myself can do a lot of clears, right? But I only do a few every day, so that's what I do nine clears. I only have three tier fours. What do you mean you do nine clears? Uh, hello? Why would you do that? I can show you a trick so that you only have to do three clears every day. Only three. You would have to be insane to have to do nine clears, my boy. Not good. Okay, enemies that reflect physical attacks, blah, 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 blah. Let's go with a blast type, like so. And, uh... Ebony, yeah. Just go with Mr. Ebony here. Get rid of these two and continue. Now I'm very freaking curious. Do you really mean you do nine clears? If that's true, just say yes. <laughs> and I'll uh, I'll tell you how to not do nine clears, because that's insane. That's a waste of energy actually. And a waste of time. Huge waste of energy, huge waste of time. 
and probably even patience. So, ugh. Yeah, the, the monster drink just jumped back up <laughs> as soon as I was putting down the can. Sometimes it does that. It's really annoying. There's like a little, uh, little, I guess, uh, drop of monster that just jumps up and hits your nose or your face. And it's annoying because it's sticky and ugh. I do nine because of my Wi-Fi connection. I keep getting disconnected on GBR, but I, enjoying, uh, I enjoy playing the new boss. Okay, let me show you a trick, because that's not going to matter about Wi-Fi. If it's going to disconnect, it's going to disconnect anyway. This is how you do it. You go here, you go on GBR, right? You wait until you have 80 boost points, okay? Which means maybe right as the reset hits, you have 100 boost points. You only use 80 boost points out of them, and you will be able to get three rewards already of this. And then you can do another clear with no boost points, which gives you a fourth reward. And then you wait for another 80 boost points and you do your third clear with the 80 boost points. And that usually gives you all of these rewards and definitely all of these rewards. And then you're done. Three clears, all done. And if your Wi-Fi disconnects, I would expect you would want to do it way less than having to do it nine times. At least you have to uh, get annoyed just three times uh, every day. So I think that's better. And uh, that uh, helps because you pretty much waste uh, six times 25. Uh, that's 100. And then that's 150 energy that you waste every day for no reason that you could use on story mode or use somewhere else. Fire type attacks are extra effective. <laughs> This is the moment I've been waiting for, Ghost Rider. <laughs> I don't know why I said that, to be honest. Ghost Rider is someone I used early anyway, so... But yeah, it, it felt funny, so let's just go with Ghost Rider on this one. How many tier 3s did I have left? I don't... I didn't check. Probably a, quite a lot more. And by the way, those uh, steps that I gave you guys, you actually can follow as, as well, not just uh, Angelo. And also Lit. Greetings, man. How's it going, man? Uh, aren't you Lit? The Aren't you Lit? That's a good question. Huh? But aren't you the same uh, guy who always joins or are you completely new here? I'm all good, man. How about you? There we go. Floor 76. That's a rumble. No, 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 no. Let's go on this one instead. And uh, we'll go with a speed type. Wait, let me see, since I'm here. Okay, I do have quite a few tier threes left. We're not done yet. That's good. Let's go with speed. And uh, let's go with Shuri here. She's actually really strong. So let's go boop. And then uh, boop, boop, start. I'm the same, I just changed my name. Okay, good. I didn't want to forget you. It'll make you feel like I forgot you. But yeah, I'm all good, man. Just doing Shadowland completely backwards. I've used all the tier fours, all the level eighty characters already, and now I'm using the strongest characters I can until I get, you know, till the end. I'm having trouble when I'm playing with other people with GBR. I get disconnected and the game closes. It's why I play st a solo. What Wi-Fi are you using that it's that bad? It could be the device as well. Like, what device are you using? Do you use an emulator, maybe? Or uh, do you not have a computer? So, heroes of an advantage here. Let's go with hero. A really strong hero here would be... I guess magic. Even though... Debatable. <laughs> Ugh. How about the Black Panther uniform? Do you like its design? I was like, okay with it. I don't care how he looks as long as he gets a level 80 and it does not look the same as what we've always had. Yo, devil. Hi for the fifth time. Welcome. My phone. Three years I've got it. Uh, that's that's okay. I don't know, man. I don't know what it could be, but I hope you can uh, fix that soon because having to play solo really sucks. You waste, you waste a lot of energy. What's your name? It's Julio. You've been here for a really long time. What the hell, man? What the hell? Okay, come on. Please 
be bonked, Mr. Enemy. Yeah. I mean, it's a wave mode, but she's also very slow. She's not the greatest character. In the sneak peek, it looked like it uh, it's Batman guarding Gotham City. Uh, I mean, that's how he usually would stay up on uh, buildings, right? I mean, you could also think of Daredevil, other characters as well. It's not just Batman. But Daredevil is kind of like Batman anyway. <laughs> Bringing the jar will decrease it, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Let's just go with a speed type. You can just say that and you don't have to ramble. Annoying Shadowland note. <laughs> okay, let's go with these two and start. Man. Uh... I don't know. I'm getting really not obsessed, but I, I wish I could get like a gaming laptop. My setup here is kind of weird, and if I want to play with my fiance at the same time, we'd we'd love to play at the same room, right? But we have two computers, and they need their own space. So having like a gaming laptop, I could play there instead. But it's expensive. It's expensive. Now, who do you think will, uh, which character will come in the last sneak peek? Wait, this wasn't the last one? We're still getting a, another sneak peek? Damn it. I, I actually didn't go on the next floor. My, my bad. <laughs> uh, so it doesn't, it doesn't say at the end there, uh, get more inform, you'll, will release more information on the next sneak peek, blah, blah, blah. The Guardians of the Galaxy update, they given three tier fours, Star-Lord, Gamora, and Warlock. Yeah, there are some rare updates like that. There, That is true. Let me see. Uh, da, da, da. Sneak peek, sneak peek, sneak peek. Okay, so this is the one. Nope, it's not. Yeah, so maybe it is going to be Furious Tier 3. Because we already just got a tier 4 from this sneak peek, so it's going to have to be a tier 3 on the next one. Blast type characters have an advantage here. Let's go with Blast. And War, uh, War Machine is the last one left here. So let's just waste these characters and start. Batman copied. Hmm. A, lot of a lot of people are saying that. I don't care, man. I really don't. As long as it's Black Panther, I don't care. I mean, as long as someone is getting a level 80 and a tier 4, I don't care. It doesn't. It's not because I like Black Panther, it's just because I'm gonna get a new level 80 character. Yay! That is what you call addiction, by the way. There you go. That was done. So, it's gonna be a bit tight now. There's no more blast characters that I can use. Oh no. <laughs> Morning. Yo, you're back. Uh, I can't wait to say your name wrong again. That's great. Uh, I'm just saving up for October to get Black Bolt's uniform and the other guy uh, uniform, whoever is going to be. I hope he gets tier 4. So you... Ah, okay. So you mean like the expensive crystal ones. Okay. Uh, 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 um, what makes you think it's going to be a guy though? <laughs> Update Wednesday. Stick, Wednesday. Uh, sneak peek. Hope tomorrow we'll get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll we'll get a sneak peek tomorrow as well. Um, soon Loki's uh, gonna be tier four. Yes, I can't wait for that either. So I can't use the blast type characters anymore because I don't have any more. So I'll just go with universal type. And uh, strong universal type here would be. Well, let's go with this guy. Kind of makes sense for him to do this one. Let's start. Oh man. So how no. I'm actually doing the shell and clear backwards now, as I said. Since there was nothing that changed this week, well, technically I did get um, Red Omega, but he's not tier three. He's not transcended. It doesn't affect my shell and clear at all. And also, look at how weak this guy is, bro. Oh my God, he's weak. Wow. <laughs> I actually am. I'm happy that I'm doing this because bad characters are obvious. If you go high on Shadowland with them, they are very obviously bad. And uh, he's one of them, by the way. Never get a curse, bro. It, unless, you know, he gets good or you're just getting him because, you know, you you have the epic quest and you're doing it. Ugh. After getting Loki, Tier 4 in ABX, ABL, Black Bolt, Thanos, Gene. 
Um, Luna is probably important as well. You mean uh, for those specific days? I guess Jean is still going to be the easiest one, though. So that's a rumble. Uh, relay mode, poison, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Anyway, let's go with the strongest character that I can find here. They're all kind of bad. You're all bad boys. Oh, uh, that sounds like I'm saying they're all bad boys, but okay. Let's go with uh, Punisher. I'm kind of scared that soon a lot of these characters will suck and maybe won't be able to clear a floor. But that's the fun of it. I would like if we could get tier 4 Ghost Rider for the Halloween update. <laughs> not a bad idea. But we're probably getting a lot of like... Uh, mu uh, sorry, not mutants, but a lot of uh, uh, native characters. Tier 4 at first. Jean will meta until the game is ended. Yeah, <laughs> usually she's meta. It's not that she... Uh, it's not the fact that she uh, has always been meta. But this uniform that she has right now... It's actually so good for cancelling, like you can cancel every skill into every skill and you still do insane damage. As long as you know when you can uh, cancel, then you're good to go. Our future fight giving uni uniforms from comic, uh, yeah, what what else can they do, right? Like, uh, we don't get as many movies and series anymore. Do you have a new CDP? Uh, no. Why? Oh, the new CDP? No, I'm not going for that, I'm not retarded, why would I even need that? Anyway, let's go for speed character. Uh, and that speed character is gonna go... Uh, it's gonna have to be uh, Daredevil. Uh, this time I went for who's the most recent. But normally I would have done Winter Soldier. Because probably Winter Soldier is stronger. Anyway, let's waste these two and start. Man, if anyone got the new CDP, they're dumb. They're dumb. They're dumb. Conquest. Hope the CDP will give us from Lance Conquest. Eh. Yeah. Good luck with that, my friendings. Either way, I don't think that CDP is going to make a huge... I mean, obviously, if you're playing PvP, that's great. But for PvE, who gives a shit, right? Uh, there's Rage and Judgment. So what else would you need from Rage and Judgment? Which are the best things to get for PvE. That's all I'm going to say. And I'm not a PvP player, so that's why. Since you asked why. Okay, entry mode. Fun stuff. Um, this one, this one, this one, we will probably do with Dr. Doom just because I want to keep them safe as well. And, um, a couple of hero characters here. I'm going to go for whoever's at the bottom, I guess. So how about these two, right? And then we go support, get rid of, uh, three characters like boop, 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 and start. Good. Uh, I see, yeah. This CDP is useful for PvP and PvE. Today, which I, which day is in ABX? I don't remember, actually. But, yeah, we're doing Shadowland. I'll check that later. Uh, I don't remember why it's good for PvE, by the way. I forgot it. But, yeah, it's definitely... Uh, I just like Rage and Judgment anyway, so I don't think I'll ever go for it. Unless it's, like, a free one that I end up getting. I'm not going for any CDP. Yo, Alex, welcome, man. You're late. What have you been doing without me? Don't you feel sad? Anyway, uh, I'm doing Shadowland backwards. I want to I wanna mention this to everybody who's, uh, you know, just joining because ugh, it probably looks weird at first. But yeah, I'm doing Shadowland backwards, so I use Tier 4s uh, immediately and then level 80s after that and then Tier 3s. I'm in the process of finishing up with the tier 3s and then just a few transcendental characters that we're gonna need and we're gonna be done um doom can get soon a rework yeah i don't know when the fantastic four movie was gonna come out but probably not anytime soon i want to focus on pvp game mode but my card stats are kind of low sucks to be you question mark just came home from gym i'm probably at the end of the stream how many floors left quite a few i think we're not done yet don't worry about it Cool. That was not a kiss, by the way. <laughs> Calm down. Don't get excited, boys. I have just 7% uh, pierce. That's actually pretty good. Why are you complaining? I did Wolbus Legend without any pierce originally, so you can do it too. Uh, villains have an advantage. Okay, let's do it like this. Let's go super villain and go with 
whoever I feel is the strongest. Let's go with Morgan, I guess, and be like, boop. And uh, wait, let's go on all instead. Or let me go on hero. Boop, boop, start. Captain Marvel. Mm. I spit on the grapes. Yeah. Disgusting. Nah, Morgan Le Fay is stronger, I think. I mean, she is newer, at least. And yeah, damage is pretty good anyway, so it's fine, it's fine. So yeah, the upside is obviously the first floors go insanely fast. Like I almost did 50 floors in an hour. Uh, almost, not exactly, but almost. But the thing is that after that, when you get pretty high, these three, these tier three characters are going to get slow. Slow, very slow, very slow. Let's go with speed and that speed character can be Mr. Winter Soldier. Yes. Let's go. Which, uh, now I'm stuck at stage 85. No. Mm -hmm. Why do you get? Just do stage 50 if it's super easy. If not, just do stage 20. But don't go lower than that and you're good. Who cares? Why would you care about going higher? Which update do you think is the worst update in MFF? Mm. Worst update? Damn. I actually don't remember. I'm pretty sure there were some really bad updates that had no, nothing to add. But usually the updates that give us uh, transcended characters without any uniform kind of suck. But they also have good stuff as well. There, there probably was one that I really hated, but I don't remember it. I swear to God, it's probably quite a while ago though. Usually I've liked uh, the new updates. They, they don't do insanely great, but. They also are not completely bad. Um, let's uh, refresh this floor, I guess. Entry mode, even better. Less floors to clear, yeah, yeah. Let's go with heroes, and on this one, let's go with blue marvel. And a couple of uh, characters, like so. Mm, that's not going to be safe. Let me do this instead. And let's go support. Uh... I guess that's good enough. When Marvel drops good movies, ah, that's gonna be a good. That's a good question, bro. I don't know when that's gonna come back. I think if they go back to the basics, it's gonna be fine. And like a lot of people are saying, oh no, there's like a superhero movie fatigue. Uh, no, there isn't. It's just everybody doesn't want to hear all the BS they keep hearing in these movies about how men are fucking annoying and blah 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 and Iron Man was a spoiled rich kid and ugh, whatever or sorry al alcoholic whatever whatever I don't remember what she called him but she actually kind of dissed Iron Man who actually died for everybody so yay bitch um, any thoughts about Black Panther's tier 4? Who do you think will be the other character for this update? Uh, it was a good thought. Somebody mentioned about... Uh, I think it was Angelo or Devil. I don't remember. But yeah, they mentioned that it might end up being Nick Fury getting tier 3. So for sure it's going to be a character that's going to get a tier 3. I don't think we're going to get two tier 4s in one patch. There's no way. So most likely Nick Fury. At least. Just about how things are going. I guess it could be Nick Fury. Blast type characters have an advantage. Okay. Blast, blast, blast. Uh, it's definitely not going to be a new character though. Because uh, I don't think they're going to do that. On more transcended characters. No, that's not going to be it. At least I don't think so. Enemies that reflect physical attacks. So I can go with in, uh, Universal here. Since I don't have uh, blast characters anymore. But uh, the character to use here will probably be this bitch. No, oh, actually, I can go with Proxima. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's a hero, right? Yeah. Good. Eagerly waiting for Deadpool tier three or Deadpool three. Sorry, not tier three. Uh, Deadpool three. Yeah, same man. When's that gonna happen? 2025, 2026. They keep pushing stuff. I don't even remember when shit is about. Uh, shit is supposed to come out anymore. 
Yeah, look at these clears. Now these floors take a while. I mean, they're still not a too, like uh, unclearable territory, but they're still annoying. I want to see Black Panther do like floor 100 though. That's gonna be sad. I'm gonna probably like I don't know, cry. I guess. Uh, I'm gonna pull out my hair probably. Uh, it won't happen. Maybe 2024 for sure. Damn it. That sucks. Hope 2024 before Kang Dynasty film. It's quite a lot of stuff that uh, they're pushing away, man. It sucks. I hate it. It's annoying. And I'm sad now. I want to cry. Um, Spider Sense. I don't think we have any left. Sorry. Clicked the wrong thing. Spider Sense. Nah. We use them all. Sadly, we'll have to refresh an entry mode. Oh well. Combat now. That's actually good because we do have quite a few combat characters left. Um, going by strongest characters, I'll go with Reed. And then... Get rid of this three and start. Change that enemy team. Yeah, it's gone. It's gone. I ain't doing that one. No, sir. No way. Let's see this guy. Let's see Mr. Reed Richards. Sadly, like a lot of the, a lot of the characters that were always good with energy, um, or, well, essentially the ones that I also put like a destruction on, they probably will get stuck with those CDPs forever. I'm not going to destroy a... CTP of destruction or a CTP of energy for a mini reach, right? So, ugh. but yeah, that means this guy can never proc properly. Either way, it looks like he's actually pretty strong anyway, so it's fine. I don't think anybody should should care at this point. Uh, the only th one I'm probably worried about is uh, maybe Taskmaster and Black Panther, something like that. I think the rest can do just fine. Anyway, this one requires a female. At which point we're gonna get rid of Hella, and uh, let's go with uh, maybe Hero to make this simpler, and just start. Uh, why Marvel wasting Black Bolt? What do you mean? Do you think Spider-Man is overrated and over overpowered? Overpowered? Nah. Overrated? Hell yeah. I always didn't like Spider-Man though. Never cared about him. But at least the the movie where they all came together, that was kind of fun. At least they're fun movies, but I don't like them as a character. I don't really care about his powers. Ugh. Let's go with the next one. And that one being uh, Floor 90. I can refresh Rumbles. And we need a blast character, but there's no specific requirement, so I can just go with a uh, universal type as well. So let's go with universal and the strongest one out of the bunch. Vision? Not everybody will agree, but maybe vision? <laughs> I don't have a lot of heroes left. Is there... Is there a chance I won't need to do trans like I won't need to use uh, villains or transcendent characters at all? That would be interesting. I'm just gonna waste some really bad transcendent villains. I probably will get to the point that I will use some, but maybe I'm getting so many entry modes that I don't really need to. Interesting though. Interesting. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. These last floors will start taking a while when we do Shadowland this way. And especially with the fact that I'm just doing this on auto, because obviously I would do much better. Being a professional and all. Okay, finally the tier 3 skill is not going to do any damage either. I started it as if I was going to say that the tier 3 is going to get this all clear, but yeah, nope. Still going to do trash. Still gonna do pretty bad. CABX day? Why? Okay. 
what is so important about LDX day? Whichever day it is, just clear it without thinking about it. Just do it. Don't do it. Okay, that's done. That took almost a minute, by the way. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, so this is an entry mode, and I do have universal types, so not bad. Okay, let's do this then. Let's go universal, and let's go with probably null, right? I'll go with null, and I'll keep these two on the team. Then we'll go with support, get rid of a few characters here. Hmm. <laughs> all of these characters are pretty powerful, so I'll just go like this, all upside down and get rid of some old characters uh, so I don't know actually who to get rid of but yeah let's get rid of these three but yeah I'm going with null for sure it's actually pretty fun because it looks like I might need, I might not need to do any transcended uh, use any transcended character at all and this is Probably gonna be the first clear where I'm actually using only tier 3s and tier 4s. Level 80s, but level 80s are technically tier 3s, so. You have all characters at level 70? Nah. Uh, only characters that uh, are gonna get a tier 3 at level 70 them or when they're gonna get a transcendence. I don't waste materials. That's how I have so much gold. If I. Like, that's. that's actually a point that I want to make when uh, when I get to the limit right where you are like oh no more gold can be acquired you have like two point something billion gold right when I get to that point what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start spending it really fast right I'm gonna be spending it on uh, level eight, level eighting uh, or sorry level 70 characters right and that way I want to do it that way because I want to show you guys uh, how fast gold can go and why you should not actually uh spend gold for you know leveling up characters because you don't really need them right uh you only do it for characters you want a tier three and then you level 80 only characters well level 80 you you should do it for everybody because level 80 characters are pretty pretty powerful but level 70 is not needed no third skill cooldown is 15 seconds you don't have 50 percent cooldown no that that skill just has a really long cooldown Try it on your own null, I guess. Or if you don't have null, that's probably why you didn't know. But yeah, that skill has a long cooldown on its own. So I think we might still uh, end up using some uh, transcended characters. But probably just a small few. Look at that. She is not powerful at all. Which is why I left her till the end. Oh god. This is gonna take a while. Take a sip. Still a really fast Shadowland clear though. It just hit two hours. Right now. As soon as I said right now. Just hit two hours. And I'm at floor 92. Really fast probably gonna slow down quite a lot now but uh it's gonna be slow till i finish with all the tier 3 characters and then if i have to do a couple of floors with transcended characters i will have pretty powerful transcended characters left and i'll use them first so obviously it's gonna be done really easy uh so hero shang chi is fast uh, is better but just because um i don't want to waste him ah, it's fine i'll just i'll just go with shang chi so let's go with all here and do this get rid of these two I guess oh I could definitely get rid of destroyer soon because I forgot uh, when will tier 5 be introduced by MFF I think 2025 the first one is tier 5 Iron Man why there's so many characters that don't have any transcendence or tier 3 yet why do we need tier 5 I think when we finish and when we have every character transcended or tier 3 or they can't be transcended or tier 3 that's when we will be able to uh, do that. Um, that's way when we'll be able to get uh, tier 5. This guy is stupid, man. This guy is not using the fourth skill. This is so dumb. This might even be a fail. <laughs> you might not be able to clear it at all. 
That's so funny. Yay. It is gonna be a waste of time. Man, he used the buff from the tier 3 on like the second skill, I think. I mean, he will do it, but it's gonna take so long. At least most of them are speed. But yeah, War Machine is taking a while. Wait, was that the fourth skill? Did we finally see the fourth skill? I don't know which skill that was, but that took so long. If they introduce it now, game will imbalance. Oh, you think so? The game has imbalance already. It's always been in not balanced, so I don't think they care about that. Trust me. They want that, to be honest, so that you can spend and be like, Oh my god, tier 5 Iron Man is insane! I gotta um, spend all my resources and my money there. That's what they want. Anyway, fire element attacks won't work, so that means pretty much anybody can do this. Um, but as I said, I don't want to waste Black Panther and end up not using him since it's going to be his last time being this week. So let's go with Black Panther on this one. Get rid of Destroyer and maybe Red Skull. He's a little bit old. Not bad, but still a little bit old. Let's see Black Panther here. I think it's going to be a pretty good uh, floor to use him on. But floor 94 though. So it's, it's a bit higher than even when I've used him on when I was clearing 235 probably. So it's going to be a bit slow and maybe not even clearable. Maybe I'll have to manually do it. So we'll see. Oh god, he uses the worst skills. I think it's time for me to actually play a little bit, huh? And I'm waiting for the controller to connect. I hope they give Black Panther a good uniform in tier 4. Yeah, judging by their dam the damage he has now, he definitely needs it. Sorry about the lag. It started as soon as I, controller uh, I connected the controller. So now I'm playing. I'm sure you were able to tell because it shows you the pop-up that I connected. The controller... I don't feel like it's the right time to use a tier 3 just yet. I hope it doesn't cancel it. But let's use it now, I guess. Yeah, when I play, he does a bit more damage. Let's see it now. So it's a 205. Let's see how long it takes me to get two characters killed. And then we can probably calculate how long it would have taken him if I started from the beginning. Still quite a while, though. Still would take quite a while. Okay, so that took me 20 seconds, so it would have taken me 40 seconds if I did it from the beginning. Can he clear today? Yeah, yeah, he can clear it. Don't worry. Don't worry, baby. So yeah, that, that would have been done in 40 seconds if I started from the beginning. But still, a minute with my help. Uh, without my help, he wouldn't have cleared that. He was doing the first skill and the second skill. I've noticed him doing that on story, on story mode, and it's been annoying ever since. Uh, he did it the first time, so I've hated that always. Sadly, I can't do this entry mode because I don't have any hero characters that I can use here. So refresh and then go here. Speed types here, but I can do universal probably. They reflect energy damage, so it might not be easy, but let's give this a try with uh, um, Molecule Man. He probably should be the last character that I use, but it's fine. You would have either been him or Dormammu, so it's fine. Let's give it a try. If not, I can just refresh it. It's probably not going to be needed, though, because he will most likely be in iframes most of the time. It's the game playing it, so usually the game plays safer. It doesn't play for damage, it plays for being safe. Jean's the goddess of MFF. Yep, yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's what happens when you play the Shadowland this way, so kind of trash. Oh god, this is going to take a while. But we don't have a lot more left, so... All the time we made up for, uh, you know, by actually using really good characters first, we're basically losing it now. I want Molecule Man to get a tier 4 in uniform. Yeah, you told me. It's me too, man. Is she worth 6,000 crystals? Yeah. With the latest uniform? Yep. But that means you'd need more than 6,000 crystals because you need crystals for the uniform. Uh oh, oh well. But yeah, be sure that you can actually also tier 3 and tier 4 her if you want to be OP with her. She's gonna be pretty crazy. 
Still, just a minute uh, with autoplay. Not bad. I would have done a bit better. Not a huge difference. I, I wouldn't expect a huge difference because he just is weak no matter what. But still. So this is a male hero floor. I'm only stuck with villains right now. So it's either going to be a villain floor or somewhere where there's no requirement. So let's go here. I will do this with Apocalypse. It's probably... Uh, he'll, so he probably is stronger than... Uh, he probably. I mean, he definitely is stronger than uh, Taskmaster. But... Maybe on autoplay, he's going to be worse than Taskmaster. We'll see. Is Magneto a native character? No. In the Lions Battle Legend, Magneto is doing more score than Cable. Oh, really? On uh, no restriction? Oh, no. Apocalypse is actually doing pretty well. I mean, this is still, like, the first floor, but it's on floor 96, so the stats are way lower so they have less health less defense but oh well i guess uh, molecule man probably ended up on a pretty high floor still not bad so we only have two uh tier threes left so that was dormammu and uh taskmaster if i didn't if i remember correctly uh, okay Ooh, this is so interesting. Ooh, this is pretty good. Uh, this is going to be easy, sadly. Uh, Taskmaster got lucky here. I'm going to have to use Taskmaster. His uh, physical types will do uh, much better here. So I think a Spot is physical as well. I'll put uh, Titania in there as well. So he, she's getting, he's getting a lot of help there. And then we're just going to waste a couple of characters. Let's do it like this. Uh, Let's waste him. Oh, wait. Wait a second. <laughs> These are characters that I actually will waste. Because they're... Eh? The rest are pretty powerful, right? <laughs> so... Uh, oh, sorry. What am I doing? So I need a couple of physical characters. I can go with him. And really powerful. So I guess Spot as well. So let's get rid of him. Her and her, I guess. Yeah, I think this could work. Bro, Titania is power more powerful than Taskmaster. I know. That's what the whole point of this whole Shadowlands clear has been. Uh, skill animation is very good. Naruto Susano. Uh, for which character? Malekith. Oh, I... Bro, Titania is Okay. So, who did you mean that for? I don't... Uh, I don't know who you meant the Susano thing for. Someone almost died, by the way. It's not good. I have to pay attention. If they end up dying completely, I will have to stop it. But I think it's fine now. Yeah, it's done. Nice. There you go. Got all tokens. Good, good, good. Next one. Okay, electric-based attacks won't work, which means Dormammu. Obviously, it was going to be Dormammu anyway. I think the last clear we will use uh we will use uh, electro so yeah uh sadly I didn't up uh, didn't end up being able to skip every transcended character I almost did because there were a couple of uh, entry modes that I had to skip because I didn't have any uh, hero characters left to use but yeah I would have been able to just do this with tier fours and tier threes. Which would have, funnily enough, been the first time I do this with no transcended characters used, uh, which is what I'm trying to get to. This was probably this is probably going to be a one-time thing though, because um, it even though we we ended up doing less floors, I feel like we're doing so we're doing it so slow. It feels a bit bad. I could probably do something else next time though. I can go like, okay, I'm gonna use the strongest character. It doesn't matter if they're tier three, tier four, uh, level 80, transcendent. I, uh, I'm transcended. I will use the latest characters first, usually, or at least because obviously I might may miss a character or two, but I'm gonna try to do this in that method just for fun. Since like, just like this one was fun, I could try that. Not next week though, because next week we'll have Black Panther and I'll probably do it just like I done it in the list but when we have no change uh you know i can try that and it's gonna be kind of fun bye man 
Yeah, I'm almost done as well, by the way, so that's good. 99 floors is what I ended up needing to do. And I will need to refresh this one, though, because I don't have a... Yeah, but this is fine. I can I can do this with Electro anyway. Even though he's a combat type, Electro is going to be able to destroy this guy. Look at how crazy Electro is now. Check this out. And he went away. And all my damage went to shit. Yay. I actually want to see how Electro is going to do on auto. I did see him probably last week, but that was a really early floor. Yeah, no. He doesn't matter. Look at the damage, bro. That actually is the type of damage he deals even on 200+. plus. Like, the guy is just transcendent. He doesn't have level 80 or anything like that. He's just insane. And that was it, man. That was it. This is what you can get if you if you do Shadowland in a way where you use the strongest characters. And it probably would be even better if I did it just like I mentioned about using every strong character I can first. Because that way I, I won't even waste time just like I did by using weak characters higher up. But yeah, that was easy. That took just 99 floors. That's probably the fastest way to do this. And maybe the fastest one, even faster one, is going to be by using the translated characters that I got, like I mentioned earlier. Since I have... Uh... Oh no, I'm just going to clear this. Uh, should we do GBR? Nah, I'm going to do G Dimension Mission. Sorry. I'll do GBR later. I don't have time. Sorry. Cool. Let's claim all the rewards and stuff. So I've decided to do this way because I can claim the rewards for Dimension Mission. But yeah, next week we're doing the Shadowland just like we normally do. Uh, with, you know, the... Starting from Transcendent Villains first and stuff. But yeah, we ended up technically just using one Transcendent uh, Villain for, for, for the whole clear. That was just the last floor that we did with Transcendent Villains. Most of, pretty much all of it was uh, Tier 3s and Tier 4s. Which kind of makes me happy because, again, I uh, want to break that, uh, let's say, record when I have just enough characters to not need using uh, Transcendent Villains. Even though that whole list doesn't make any more sense, uh, sense anymore because, uh, as uh, people are saying, you don't really need... Uh, like you don't need a lot of villains anymore you don't get villain floors uh, a lot anymore which kind of sucks but oh well because uh, technically we pretty much skipped all the transcended characters and we still had enough villains to just be left with villains only in the end so it kind of makes makes sense what they're saying yeah I did get enough to get all of the rewards we're done with uh, the pass so we're good we have enough to get a premium card. Looks like we do, baby. It's a baby spidey card. Sad. Time to just lock it and keep it in the inventory forever. But yeah, let's uh, make sure to claim the rest as well. I think the only thing that's worth asking for on the alliance for me at this point is just uh, feathers. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, da, 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 da. That inbox. I can't claim anything. I think I'll have to do this first because I don't have enough space on the inventory. But actually, this the way Shadowland works now is we don't have to need a lot of inventory space because uh, we don't get a lot of rewards to claim. So I think this much would still be enough. First of all, let's check this notice. It's a platinum gift box. We got four star ticket. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Get everything from here. Just 40,000 gold, right? So it's a huge drop in like gold rewards. But uh, well, what can you do? Tough life, I guess. Tough luck, man. Tough luck. The handle. And it's all trash, it's all trash. It is all freaking trash. That's a 300,000 gold reward. I'm two days away from Luna tier 4. Man, 
Jealous. I'm jealous. Well, that's done. That's pretty much it, guys. We're done. Uh, yeah. Now, I'm probably just going to leave it on story and you know the rest. But yeah, thank you very much, guys, for joining. This was kind of fun, actually. Apart from the last part where it started to take quite a while to do stuff uh, or to do clears. Uh, and the fact that we had to actually manually play Black Panther, he was doing nothing. Because for some reason with this uniform, he only uses the first and the second skill. But either way, this was pretty good, man. I liked it. Uh, I'm going to fix the lighting for next time. I'll figure that out. But pretty short stream, really fast clear of Shadowland. And I think it's going to be even faster. Not next week, because next week we'll actually try out uh, the normal type of list. Because we'll have uh, Black, Panther, or Black Panther at level 80 at least, I hope. And by the time I do next uh, Shadowland, I have him. And... Um, the, whoever the tier 3 is going to be or the next sneak, sneak peek is going to be about but yeah that's pretty much it and then after that screen a week we'll do it one more time kind of the same idea but instead of going with strictly tier 4 level 80 tier 3 i'm going to go with tier 4 level 80 and then tier 3 and transcendent uh transcendent characters whichever is the stronger uh the strongest one and obviously that's going to be an even faster clear so that's going to be very fun to to see but anyway, guys, thank you very much for joining. I love you all, and I'll see you. Bye-bye now. Stay safe.